Hello, cat. Are you going to be playing with us today? She's going to jump on the table. Don't stop her. Not she looks crazy. like she's, she looks like she's going to freak out across the table. Yeah, she wants to. All right, let her go. All right, with that being said, Ryan and Danny from No Review Playthrough. We have been trying Quidditch rules for the Harry Potter Funkoverse. So we thought we would share a playthrough with that. We've got a couple playthroughs and modified a few things. And we'll see, I think we've got kind of it down here. So we have our, we are on the Forbidden Forest map. We are gonna play with the trees still as barriers. We have tried it without kind of the barriers and it kind of seems too easy to run across. We tried putting flags in the opposite corners. That didn't seem to work too far. So we've got our flags here. Uh, I actually think I'm gonna change Ron. You wanna switch Ron out? Yeah, I know why. You got the broom. That just happened to luck out with our item draw. So we put the flags. I thought it would be too close, but um, so we have our flags, our Quidditch goal posts. We have the quaffle here in the middle. This is going to be the snitch, the golden snitch. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to move this down the cooldown track, just like the other um, tokens. When this comes off, then we're going to roll a D10 and a D12 because there's a 10 by 12 grid, and so that will help us learn where the snitch will be. And we will kind of go from there and kind of explain some of the rules. I have the rules posted in the description below to a Google Drive doc. So as we change those, then we can, um, you guys can be updated with live versions if you're watching this later after we've maybe made some other revisions. So we can get other points by knocking people down, kind of like normal Funkoverse rules and so forth. <clears throat> So um, we'll go ahead and play that. So one of the things we've talked about, um, we're gonna play with the normal three player. One thing we've, we haven't tried, but if you would like, you could try adding a fourth person that is your keeper, that they kind of just stay at the goal posts and they could be able to defend the goal post. Um, we haven't really tried that part out. Then as I was thinking of writing the rules today, you could actually play with the fourth person too. And if you wanted to make one of them your seeker, uh, you yeah. could you could do that as well. So you could kind of assign roles. We haven't again. I just thought of that today, as I was doing some edits and things. I'm like, oh well, you could make one person uh, a keeper. Uh, we we kind of talked about that, and then I was thinking today you could add maybe a fourth person because we've got we've got all the Harry Harry Potter people. So Dumbledore could be your keeper, or Hagrid could be your seeker, and things like that. So if you wanted to, but the rule would be the same for the seeker. The only problem is if you did that with like Draco as the seeker. He really wouldn't be, I mean, I guess he could be flying around the map trying to knock people out like normal. So yeah. well, maybe we'll try that. So if you have four or five more characters, and of course you don't have to use Harry Potter for this, but it just thematically makes sense. So I think we discussed this. I think that we, we were doing the first one was rolling. So we've got whoever would roll the most criticals would get the quaffle first. I think we'll just kind of keep with the normal. Oh. And just flip this. Whoever yeah. gets this gets the quaffle first instead of rolling dice. Yeah. All right, so white bases get the quaffle. So that means that Greco, I'll take the quaffle marker and I'm gonna put it on his card just to remind that, that we've got it so we don't have to drag it around. Then we've decided that that person must, that team obviously goes first and Draco gets to act first. Just basically do everything like you normally would, move, attack, and things like that. So, um, all right, so I'm probably gonna be ganged up on, of course, but that's okay, that's how this normally would go. So what I'm going to do, so I have the Felix. So what I could do is that would give me a very good chance of knocking Ron down and then going away, or do I move twice and just try and get far away from Ron, but then I'm going into their territory before these guys can help. So we haven't done too much strategy wise yet. So let's try that. I'm going to do the Felix. I have to put it on the cooldown of three. Before I roll, I automatically get one dice on the critical success. So I already have three hits basically. Um, and I'm going to do the Everett Statum because then I can do a range three challenge two. If I win, I can move the target up to two squares. Oh, so I roll. Only one, because one is a guaranteed, so I got four successes. So Ron has a, he still has a, yeah. almost no chance. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, so Ron is knocked down, and I'm gonna move him two squares 
one, two over to here. Okay, now we've learned, or we've practiced, to, you can gain extra points like most games of Funkoverse, so I'm gonna gain a point by knocking him down. All right, so that's the first, second thing. Um, so are you guys gonna go help Ron Ron? One one. <laughs> I would have won one. Are you gonna go help him? And go that mm -hmm. way. So should I go that way with the quaffle? Hmm. Or should I stop saying what I'm going to do? Mm -hmm. Well you'll see anyways. Well we both. <laughs> well, we both. Okay, so let's go ahead. Alright, one, two. Alright. Draco's done. So you gotta look at your card because I made the mistake last night thinking that Draco had the flag. I almost made it to the Goal post, and then I realized that Draco did not have the quaffle. <laughs> yep. So the quaffle can be passed by using action, a line of sight that he can pass it to a teammate. So using an action, we've learned or practiced that he can pass it. We haven't had that opportunity too much yet, but I could pass it to a teammate. No. We said range of three, right? Yeah. Yeah. We, I, I might extend that to like a range of four, or maybe like in the real game, you could do it kind of almost unlimited. Yeah. All right. I think I'm gonna go diagonally. I have to go one, two, three. Yeah, it would take you almost all just to get there. Well, I think I'm just gonna leave him there, maybe. Yeah. Let him deal with his own. Yeah. Okay. So then I'm gonna have Harry. It's actually three. Yeah, I'm gonna do an Expelliarmus. Okay. Against Draco. Range three, challenge two. One, two, okay. All right. All right, what'd you get, one? one? Okay, I didn't get nothing. All right, so Draco goes down, and what I will end up doing is drop the Quaffle on the square, and now it can be picked up by anybody. Okay. It's gonna... Oh, and you're going to get a point. Yeah. For knocking him down. Technically, can't even see Ron. Little... Um, from that from that spot, correct? Yeah. Am I going to have him do Protego and do Hermione? Protego, yeah. Okay. So that's, he's done. <clears throat> All right, so you gave her a Protego. Okay, all right. Uh, let's see, what could I do? Got Bellatrix and Snape left. Okay, I think what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do the Morse, Morse Mordre and just take her out. Because when I do that, when she shifts off, I can put her adjacent to an ally. So it kind of almost teleports to Draco. I think that's better spent than taking my whole t two or three turns. Yeah. Okay, and well, I guess I could have done something first before I do that. Yeah, because you're gonna have to stay there the whole round. I'll just stay there the whole round. Um, I'm too far away to do any really attacks or anything. Well, I'll just, I think I'll just do that. Yeah. Okay. I'm too far away to do anything, really. Okay. Hermione, she's gonna move twice. Okay. And then... So with our rules, she could interact and pick up the Quaffle or try and knock Draco out. How many points did we determine for knocking out? Two for knocking out. Okay. I mean, I guess the points don't really matter that much. It's really... Well, the point, no, in this game, the points, it's not a race to certain number of points like most games. It'll be whoever has the most wins. Yeah. So when we get the snitch and it's done, the game will be over. So whoever has the most does win. Uh, I think I'm going to pick it up. Okay. And then she's done. Okay. All right. Um, 
I won't be able to do much with against Iran this turn, but maybe I should work on that so maybe possibly get extra points there. Can't really do much to help Draco either. Luckily, he's already done his turn. So I could go one, two. I, again, I have to kind of couldn't move diagonally through the trees. One, two. Hello, Weasley. Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's my Snape impression. All right. Just gonna oh, that's right. Ron hasn't gone yet. Ron do your do worst. Oh, that's, yeah, he can't do anything. <laughs> he can't do anything. It's just, I think it's so creepy. They're so close together when they play this. Okay. Heads are too big. All right, well, Bellatrix did go. Okay, so we take exhaustions off. The snitch moves on to here. We move everything down one. Okay, Bellatrix gets to move next. Um, with the Notorious Witch, she shifts off the cooldown. You may place her... And adjacent to an ally. Do I want to place her right in front? You're going first. So I guess you need to decide either take there. Okay. Allies can see through their own ally. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, you can attack Bellatrix through. Hermione. Yeah. That doesn't really make sense, but okay. And one of our new movement rules, if they're down, you can move over them because technically we're flying around the board. So if they're down, you can you can fly over where normally you couldn't. Yes. So, so Hermione could just run. She could fly over Draco and run. Um, she wouldn't make it very far. No. And then... You're just gonna attack me. Yeah, yeah, I could. Well, I'd have to probably move. But that's the whole point. You're trying, kind of like the flags game mode, just trying. So I'm, yeah, I'm gonna actually throw Quaffle to Harry. Okay, um, all right, so. Do for that, just to... Nope, just do it. It's just oh. an action. There's no, you. it's an automatic succeed. Okay. Yeah. I. I tried, some people, I, th I thought about, we thought about having rolls for like shooting the goal. I just didn't want to have too much success on die rolls. I wanted to, like the original game, most of it is you go next to a point, you get it by interacting. So it's just an action to throw it. Okay. And then for a second, she's going to attack Draco. Draco, okay. For two. Let's see, Draco and Serpent Minion gain one extra die roll when challenging. Okay, I'm not challenging, I'm defending, so I only get one. All right, you did two, so Draco's out. So you get two for that one. Never mind, he's done. Okay. All right, so now Hermione's blocking the path to Harry for Bellatrix. I have lots of gray actions. Some of our testing, I kind of overuse these, but I think what I'm gonna do is Imperio. Did I put this above the snitch? We've only done, oh, this is, no, we've gone twice. Yes. We've gone twice. Okay, this is round three, technically. Okay, so I'm gonna do Imperio. Control arrival, Bellatrix can see within three squares, make her do a basic action. So I'm gonna go one, two. I think those trees are blocking my line of sight to Harry, though. So I cannot attack him directly right now. So I'm just going to try and get one, two to there. Okay. Okay. Well, Harry's just going to book it. Okay. So now Harry could, one, two, three, since Ron's got the broom. You could move one or two, pass it to Ron, and then Ron on his turn. The problem is I'm probably going to obviously... Yeah. He's the last, so... Okay. Okay, 
So your best bet is if Snape fails in attacking. Yeah. Oh, one thing we did forget, if we challenge directly, then we automatically gain the quaffle. So you did lose oh. a turn. Yeah, if they're right next to it, we get if we, if we do a ranged attack. Did Hermione do a ranged attack? I can't remember. No, she didn't. Okay, so she sh you maybe lost one turn. Probably. So if they're right next to you, so now I can challenge and take it. Okay. If I if I get it on the first one, um, I'm not going to do anything special. Before I do a challenge, I'm going to do the Brood Glory. Put it to status three, or cooldown of three. So when I am done, I can move two. So hopefully, I can steal the Quaffle, do my normal move, and then Brood Glory lets me move again. Ooh, four. Okay. So. Well, I defended four. Oh, you're right, you did. Yep, you're right. I keep forgetting the question marks go all both ways. All right, so I failed that. Now I think I do it, add this to the end of the challenge. So I need to go one, two, <laughs> attack again, because that was only technically my first challenge. Dang it, oh, I got four again. Oh my <laughs> gosh, Ron's just beaten. Okay. Nice job, Leslie. That was really Sorry, <laughs> I'm trying. Okay, all right, Ron's gonna, on his broom. Yeah. I would definitely do the broom. And I just happened to luck out that she got, we have what, five items and we divvied up four of them. Four, yeah. Okay. Uh, that was actually only his first. Yeah. So all right, and we've decided that to interact is no. Did we decide that interact is no? Or you didn't need to interact? Uh, I think they, yeah, we, we still have, just like the regular flags game, you still need to interact. Yeah. Okay. But no one can catch you. Yeah, no, but you're, nobody's gonna stop you. Okay. All right, so Draco cannot go, so I just exhaust him. And I'm done. Okay. All right, Draco comes off the track. I guess yeah. he spawns there. Okay. Slide everything down. You sometimes forget. I do. Okay. All right. Okay, so if I'm going first. Um, That's unfortunate. I didn't think of that situation. That's why I kind of want it to have a be an autom maybe it should just be an automatic gore skull score. Yeah. Because now, I mean, if I attack, just, just for hypothetical, if I attack you, okay, you did defend it, but there is a chance that I could steal that and everything you just did was gone. Yeah. So let's maybe go ahead. Maybe since he was a leader, he should spawn in the middle. That he comes back to here yeah. instead. Because it is a little unfair that he's, and I and I did briefly think about that, like what happens, do I want to let myself just get knocked out knowing that somebody's there and can stop them? Yeah. Or is that just unfortunate because you ran out of moves in or, in some situations, would you have enough to move and then interact? Yeah, because we thought about rolling to like shoot for the goal, but again, I don't think, um, since he was my leader. So let's just go ahead that he scored the goal. Yeah. Okay, which we've, we're counting as three. So let's just try that. Earns three points for scoring. And then we reset. So let's go ahead and just reset. Okay, okay so we start everybody back in the beginning. Everything stays the same. We'd refresh if we had... So luckily, Ron went last. Yeah. Ron went last and everybody's exhausted. I think we'd reset everybody exhaustion-wise, of course. Okay. All right. So back in the middle. Yeah. Go. Well, it's gonna go on somebody. Technically, mm -hmm. it's just gonna go. All right. All right. So you grab it, and you get first <laughs> turn. Well, I don't think I want to automatically go over there, since. Well, we didn't want to leave the like in regular flags, where if we just left this, then <clears throat> the the boards everybody's kind of scattered around. We wanted to kind of have a reset the board state. Okay. 
Yeah, that was the, that was, that's the difficult decision for the first. Do you go right for it, knowing that two players are already there? Uh, I think I need to attack Draco. Okay. I'll do Stupefy. So we'll rank three challenge for me. Oh, I only get one. Draco's kind of a weak. Okay. Three. So Draco goes down, you get another point. <clears throat> I'm just going to do another basic against him. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So he's knocked out. So yeah. another two points. Maybe it's too many. Maybe it's just one for each. Yeah, we're still doing. Yeah, we're still going. And I've got one. <laughs> so one's done. So maybe one point for each, maybe two mm -hmm. points for the scoring the goal. Yeah. Okay, so Ron's done. Okay, you're exhausted him. All right, so... I'm wondering if I just do the same thing with Bellatrix <laughs> again. Um. Move Snape up, and then have Bellatrix just knock herself out. Hmm. <clears throat> I can, one, two, he still blocked sight though, because I do have a range four, the Confundo's a range four. Ugh. It's pretty sweet. I think it is blocking sight. But I don't think I can get, yeah, I technically can't move crosswise through here. Even if you were like there. One, two, yeah, I still can't see him because, <clears throat> The, the trees are blocked there. Oh, uh, Snape got any better? Probably not, no. It's purposely, they purposely, this is good to have those trees directly in the middle. Otherwise the you challenge, the, yeah, you're gonna be challenged, right with, attacked, attacked right <clears throat> away, right? Okay, let's go one, two, one, two. Okay, Snape's done. Okay. I mean, most of the games we've played, uh, that first round is, moving everybody kind of into the middle of the board and setting things up, so. Three, four, five. So I'm gonna move Hermione twice. And then do Impendimenta. So range three, challenge two. Ooh, Ooh. I blocked a six. Right, only did three. Okay. She's done. Okay. All right, so Bellatrix. Uh, let's, no, I'm not gonna knock her out. One, two, one, two. Okay. Hi, Ree. Mm. Yeah, I move him twice there, and then uh, I would say that he could be. I can say I would say he can see her. He straight through. I think that's okay. I don't know if I want to use all my tokens. Though. I know. I'll do it. <clears throat> uh, range three, challenge two. Okay, Bellatrix. Ooh, four. Four? Yeah, there's no way. Well, again, keep forgetting, yeah. All right, so Bellatrix goes down, take a point, and your die rolls. And, oh, if take an item from the target, place it on two. I don't have, yeah, I don't have an item. Okay. All right, then Draco's exhausted and done. Okay. And exhaust, shift everything down. Draco gets the Felix back. Okay. <clears throat> All right, we flip this. We go first. Oh, All right, so I'm going to do Snape first. Do the Volnira. Senator, Sanator. Move to one, two. 
and then do an assist action. Mm. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, now you've got Draco over there. It's not like I'll make it very far. Well, you've, oh, you don't have your broom yet either. Yeah. That's good. Um, okay, I'm just gonna move on with both his actions. Okay. All right. So I think Draco then needs to go. Again, don't forget you can pass it too. Yeah. Okay, that's something that's a little unique to our game. Okay, we're gonna do this Serpent Sorta. Okay, place a, a snake token uh, within two just squares that Draco can see. When Draco becomes exhausted, the Serpent may do a challenge two or a move three. So that's action one. Action two. Okay, so we're gonna do, oh gosh, yeah. Oh. Oh, that's right. I've got a two, both Bellatrix and Draco have kind of a teleport. Home and number of Elio, choose an ally Draco can see. Oh, there's nobody he can see within three squares. So and then teleport, place trait. I couldn't place that. All right. Um, I hate to use all my tokens, but otherwise I'm going to waste an action to move and then I can't attack. So, all right, we're going to do the Felix. That has to go on three of the cooldown. So I automatically get it three success. Where'd it go? And then I'm gonna do God, my last one. It's only a two. I'm getting one back next turn. Range three, challenge two. So I already have one. Okay, so three. All right, so Draco goes down. Yeah. Or not, no, Ron. Draco, run. He's gonna drop the quaffle. Okay, and then when he comes exhausted, the snake's gonna bite your face. Okay, um, Drake on Serpent token, roll up one extra die when challenging rivals that are knocked down. Four. Four. Ah, gosh dang it. So resilient. Yeah. Okay, Draco's done. Uh. I think I'm just gonna get these two like rack up some points. Not that early. Yeah. I, I think I think I think one point for each of those things is Yeah. Or we need to make the snitch right now we have as set as winning with ten points. So we either need to increase that a little bit to maybe fifteen so that like me, that if I get that I still have a chance to win even though I haven't done how many do you have right now? Ten. Ten? I mean, maybe 10 is fine. Maybe 10 is okay. Maybe I'm just 15. Decrease these a little bit. Well, if I, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I think we might decrease to one and one. Oh, so I did, but I did knock Draco, so I do get a point. Yeah. So technically, if I win, if I get the snitch, I could still win. That's kind of how Quidditch was that you could be behind in points as long as you got the snitch. You were fine. We're fine. So uh, we'll keep it for, we'll keep it for now. Okay. I just wish I would have got you knocked out, of yeah. course. All right. Harry, and maybe only two. Well, it seems like it's hard to get that goal, so maybe three points is worth. Maybe getting that. Okay. Maybe just or not have anything for knocking down. Just knocking. Just maybe knocking out. Yeah. I've tried to follow the original rules. Most of the originals are always gain extra points for knocking down and knocking out. Here's there. Move one. Okay. So you can do a basic challenge against Two. One. All right. Defending. Sunny's done. Okay. Snake can't pick up the quaffle and start. 
<laughs> Scorn goals. All right, Bellatrix is the only thing that's left. Um, I can't confundo. I can't. All right, I'll just base get challenge Harry. Ooh, a four. All right, Harry goes down. Um, let's go for a knockout. I think Harry gets an extra die though, doesn't he? Uh, yes. Oh, I can automatically set. Oh, you automatically set. So he's very, oh, he's very hard to knock out. Yeah. Oh, I got a three. <laughs> so I got still got one more than you. So Harry's done. So I'll take two for that. Okay, and Bellatrix is done. Okay. All right. The one time he's knocked out, Hermione is in next to him. Yeah. Actually, if Ron... Oh, no, he's not standing. Yeah. He would have been able... Harry would have been able to teleport adjacent to him once he moves off the track. But... Oh, if Ron's standing? Yeah, but... And he doesn't have a turn to go? Okay. Yeah. Hermione's got to do... <sighs> We're over here. I know. But you can't see us. We're behind the tree. I can't. <laughs> Um, I keep forgetting I got the Veracity Serum. I could make you only do one turn. I keep forgetting. Um, I guess one, two, that's actually five. Yeah, you're quite a ways away. Hmm. But you are going first. So you're gonna have a chance to pick, I would. Actually, I, I'm gonna move two. Okay. And then do her Accio. Oh, that's right, you can pull tokens, right? Pull tokens or an ally. Then yeah. within three squares, place it adjacent. I would pull a Quaffle. Huh? That makes better sense. That's, I know that <laughs> they didn't have that in their original, you go put it on a card. Oh. I know that's not how the game. Yeah. But technically, it's our for us. It's a token on the board. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Uh, so she's now nah, we're here. <laughs> Bring it. She's got the dagger. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, on exhaust, it will be your turn to start. So you could run. All right. So we're gonna slide these things down. Okay. So now the snitch is gonna come on the field. So what we're gonna do? is we'll roll these two. Okay, so we have an eight. So this is our 12 side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh. Mm. And four. So we rolled the four. So one, two, three, four. All right. So there's the snitch <laughs> right there. Great. Okay, now there is a roll off for the snitch. I, after some roll, some practice, I decided three dice and you must get a critical success. Okay. I did some practicing like this. It, it happens a fair amount. Do you have to be on or next I, Just like everything, on or adjacent. So Ron could, oh, he's, too bad he's down. Okay, right, but your go. This one I think obviously, Hermione just, yeah. Move and interact. No, you gotta try and so oh, roll three okay. dice. Yeah. I just said that. Yeah. Okay. So that would, that would end the game there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did we thought about all six and then like maybe five you okay. success you know, or there's a whole bunch of math we could do. I think I, sp just I, I spent some time last night just going like this and like, okay, there's once. Okay, twice, I got it three times in a row there's more I thought but some I thought even just one die but then you've only got a one and six at least this gives you three yeah. three times so I, I'm not a good math I know some people like okay roll all six but you have to get like one two three four five out you know yeah so I think I think three works out okay so obviously you would you would that's that guaranteed the win there but I, I caught up though yeah, I mean, if you got the snitch, then... You'd if I had gotten it, it would have been 10, 12, 14, 15. 
Ten. 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 Okay. So maybe the point system isn't too bad. Yeah. So I think three for the goals because it seems like that's going to be pretty hard to do. But I think it should be an automatic, unless there's somebody here who can defend it to, to maybe defend. I don't know. Or we, I think in the even I'm trying to keep it as close to the regular game. I think even in a regular game, as long as you end here and interact in a flags game of of this. So I might just leave that that there, unless unless somebody again wants to go really hardcore and have every roll be for everything. Yeah. Okay. So that just that just lucked out. Well, that just lucked out. The snitch could have been. So like say all the way over here. So four, one, two, three, four, and two, one, two. It could have been right there. Um, it could have you know it just lucked out that it happened to be right there, but that's. From the movies and the books, you never, never know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one. It could have been. Eh. <laughs> We're getting a lot of chances that it was there. A four and a four would have been about here. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's one time it was like all the way over well, there's, here. There's there's eleven and four, so that would have been right on Draco. Hmm. <laughs> you know, but he would have probably missed it anyways, like we've seen in the past. Yeah. Well, I think I think. I think we've got that pretty well locked down. Maybe just the respawning kind of thing. Yeah, the respawning. Um, I and I think that's probably just, and so that's why I. Well, I think that solves the issue as long as it's an automatic. Oh. As long yeah. as it's an automatic score, just by interacting, then it doesn't matter if somebody's there. Just like again, in the game of regular flags, it would be an. As long as you have the interact, you can you can score a point. So I, I tried to keep the dice rolling down to a minimum because again I don't I don't think it should be I don't I didn't want to have the snitch though be an automatic pickup because oh, that that seemed yeah because you just lucked out just right there at least there's a chance that you missed it and then and I guess we could do do we we thought if it's not collected in a round then we reroll in the round. But maybe you try for it, and then we roll and it moves yeah. if you miss. That seems cool. So you like try for it, and it, it dashes off. Yeah. So that that way you, it's not just stuck there, and you and go, I'm okay, my second act, yeah, my second turn, or or you happen to have three characters, two characters there, that gives you four chances maybe to get it. Okay, I'll put that in the rules. Like, if an attempt is made and missed, then automatically roll for yeah the snitch again. All right, well. We 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 did a couple games yesterday. I spent a lot of day today revising the rules. I think that I don't think the point system's too bad. The snitch at ten points. If we keep that where it's at, I think it's okay. And then resetting the board works seem to work pretty good. All right, so I will post those rules in the comments below. Let us know what you think when you try it. It obviously doesn't have to be the the Harry Potter theme, but it just seems to work out the best. You could make it Funko Ball. Actually, that's where I kind of borrowed the idea from a guy on the on BBG had Funko Ball, where he put it in the middle and, and kind of did the same thing. But I thought, oh, why can't we do the Quidditch, which made a whole bunch of new rolls. But I think that worked out fairly well this time. So let us know what you think. And thanks for watching. And we'll see you later. Bye-bye.